Hello and welcome to another top three pants video of Applebaum. My name is Joost Applebaum and today we have a unique guest for this video series. But first, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, make sure to do that right now so you won't miss out on an episode of the top three pants series. Because in this series, we ask pen influencers their personal top three pants. Well, let me introduce our guest for today. It is the CEO of a company that exists now 101 years, if I'm correct. Uh, it is Diplomat uh, from Germany. And we're really honored to have Matthias, the CEO of the company, uh, talking about his top three pens here with us today. So Matthias, welcome to this episode. Um, let's say your house is on fire. Which three pens would you take with you home? Um, hello, Joost. Um... Which three pens would I take? So, um, I would take first uh, the pens which is for me, which has been for me uh, the most fantastic pen existing and made me love fountain pens, whereas I was not a fountain pen lover, is mm -hmm. the Capless Raden. Wow. Uh, for, for me, this pen was the, the pure... Uh, uh, composition of the talent and the history of Pilot in one pen. Because you know that uh, Namiki is part of Pilot mm -hmm. and uh, all the uh, work done on the Namiki pens, you can have a piece of this on the right end, knowing that you have at the same time the fantastic clicking system of the Capless, which makes that you can use this piece of art every day, very practical. This was my, my first pen my first nice pen when I entered the writing industry. And really when I, when I was a, a salesman at Pilot before, a long time ago, uh, the first pen I acquired uh, when I could uh, have the money to, to take it. Um, nice. the, the second pen is um, a diplomat one, is the Aero Orange. Um, I chose the Aero uh, because honestly, the Aero was the reason why I loved Diplomat from the first day. Uh, is really uh, what I could call the DNA of the of Diplomat, uh, something really modern, very light, whereas it's metal with this kind of a anodization, which makes the color very unique, and and this design. Um, that's uh, when I acquired Diplomat, it was before, because of the Aero, because uh, we felt this pen was fantastic. Um, so this is my, my second choice. And I'm here with the, with the Fontaine pen nib, of course. And the third one, um, it's my top three because I'm so proud of this pen is the Zep. Uh, the Zep is a limited edition we made two or three years ago. We wanted to prove to the industry how good we are. <laughs> and honestly, honestly, the job which was made on this pen, which is called Zepp, because it's an heritage of the Zeppelin, we tried to be very, very close to the design of the Zeppelin and adding this masterpiece uh, on the clip, all the work is done. Really, the, this pen is not fantastic because it's made of gold, silver, or diamond, or whatever. This pen is fantastic because of the works made by the craftsmen. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is really, really a pen I'm so proud of that uh, I will keep it all my life. And I have to admit that uh, it should have been a top four because uh, I, when you told me, please, Matthias, tell me your top three, I've searched everywhere in my house my first fountain pen. Uh, that my father gave me when I was 12 years old. And it was a fountain pen named the, the Quadro, uh, made for Guy La Roche, uh, mm -hmm. by Pilot. And um, I love this pen. I wrote with this pen during all my high school. Um, it was not convenient because the Quadro style makes it not so comfortable, but I was so proud of this first nice fountain pen I had. But unfortunately, I couldn't find it. And I'm really disappointed. That's why I wanted to take to say a few words about this pen. 
Lovely, lovely. I love your stories. It's it's really cool to to see that you started up with a with a pilot capless. And of course, because of your, your background with pilot and uh, yes, that ZEP, that is something unique. Uh, quick question before we're ending, was the Diplomat Aero Orange also the first pen that they launched when you took over the company? Uh, that the first new color we launched. Uh, the Aero was existing uh, one year before we acquired the company in black. Mm -hmm and in brown uh and uh Would we you launched launch the orange something and we launched the orange yes to show Amazing. to show the different uh maybe the turning we were going to go Amazing, amazing. Thank you for sharing your stories, Matthias. Uh, again, if you're watching this uh, video, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And next week, we have another top three pen series. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.